Hello everyone, uh, this is Ori Bloop. Welcome back to another uh, Game Builder Garage tutorial. Uh, so in today's tutorial, I will be showing you guys how to make um, moving platforms um, in Game Builder Garage. This could be implemented in all types of levels. So let's go ahead and just uh, get right into it. So um, if we can see that we already have a third person uh, camera set up, Basically, we have a uh, full 360 range of our camera and our player can move in all directions. And I also added a little jump just so we can get on top of our platforms. Uh, if you want to know how to do this, in the top right here, um, there will be a link to a six camera uh, type tutorials. And if we go into the edit mode, uh, we could see that it's actually uh, pretty basic. But um, just go to the top right if you want to see how to make this. Uh, but besides that, let's get actually to the video. So um, if we want to make platforms, um, uh, it's a little bit different than you think. Um, so what we need to do first is uh, go to objects and we're going to go to simple objects and grab a box. Now, this box actually really doesn't matter. It just um, kind of it's like a marker of where our um, actual platform is going to be. And we can put this anywhere and that's where our platform will be. Um, so in the settings for this box, uh, you could pretty much just do, uh, you could turn everything off so we don't want to see it. And then for the size, you can just make everything 0.10 because it doesn't matter. So um, we could just put this anywhere we want to. Uh, I just put it all the way down here. And now what we want to do is uh, go to objects and go to connections and we're going to be needing a free slide connector so this means that um, it has a x y and z um, input so meaning that you could basically you know have anything slide if it's connected um, to to two um, objects so what we want to do is connect it to our first um, invisible non-solid object and then we're going to actually get our platform. So uh, if we go to objects and grab, uh, let's say, a box, uh, this will be our actual platform that our uh, player will see and it will actually move. So if we go into the settings for the box, um, we can turn off these two because we don't need those. And um, I just wanted to change the color. So uh, I think we'll go with a red just to make it clear. And... Um, we can go ahead and now connect our actual platform to um, to the free slide connector. But right now, if we go ahead and look in the game, um, nothing happens because we haven't um, changed anything uh, for the inputs for the free slide connector. So it won't start moving until uh, we give it some sort of input. So if we go back into the edit mode, uh, we can actually start feeding this some stuff. So if we go to uh, input and we grab a constant, we can grab that. And we also will be needing a counter because uh, it's going to be counting up constantly and that's how it's going to move. So uh, there's a lot of ways to actually do this here. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to connect the constant to the count up and we will count uh, do the count and connect it to any axis we uh, actually we want so X Y or Z so just for this uh, we're gonna try Y um, and you guys are gonna see a one big thing but if we go ahead and look in the game our platform will shoot right up in the uh, in the sky and obviously we won't we won't be able to get on that so um, we need to fix this a little bit uh, the first thing we want to fix is go to the constant and change this to as low as possible and the lowest uh, output that we can get is a 0 0.01 so we'll do that um, so this will definitely start going a lot slower and you, and you can see already that you can get on it right now um, and this will go on basically forever so if you want a platform that you can go have go on like forever then this is what you want to do basically um, so for the counter you don't have to change anything because if you want it to just keep going on um, throughout the level then uh, you don't have to make any changes um, actually I'm going to make the box a little bit bigger just because um, it is a little bit small I'll make it uh, let's see I'll do 160 for the Z and 
um, X is 160 as well. So if we go in the game, it's a perfectly square platform. So like I said, this will continuously keep going up in the Y direction. And of course, if you change it to uh, either the X or Z, it will go in that direction as well. So for Z, it will continuously uh, keep moving on and, um, you know, it, it will just be the same like that. Um, that's, that's one way to do it. Uh, but a lot of a lot of times what happens in uh games that use platforms it usually goes um like back and forth back and forth and luckily uh for the counter it actually has a system that goes back and forth and back and forth so if we go in the counter um we have bounce and basically what bounce does is it will start us off from a point and it will go and reach us to a different point and it will go back and so it will go back and forth, back and forth um, if we feed this a constant. So uh, let's just do 0 to 9. And I'll just do, in this case, um, put it back to the Y. So if we look in the game now, we could see it go up and up and up. And then eventually, once it stops, maybe I put it a little bit too high. It's going to come back down here in a second. Oh, there we go. Now it goes down. Um, here, I could show that a lot better. Let me go ahead and um, for the counter, let's do uh, something low, like two. So it goes up and it will come right back down and it will go right back up again. So if you want these sort of platforms, um, these are like really easy too. just make sure for the counter um, that it, it is set to bounce because you want the um, object to go up and down, up and down, and it will just keep doing that for, you know, the rest of the time. Um, as well, this will work in also the Z or the um, X axis. So if it's Z, it will keep going in one distance and it will shoot back. So keep going and then it will go back and forth and that will happen. Um, also, if you want it to be more in the air, for instance, um, moving this uh, platform won't do anything that's because it's connected to the free slide connector and to our uh, our little box so if we want to uh, move it anywhere we have to move this box around so if we want it to be a little bit more in the air we have to move this box up and then if we look in the game um, our box is more up in the air um, and if it's too slow for you guys you can also uh, go back to the constant and make this um, a higher number so it's 0 0.01 right now but if you do uh, 0 0.02 it will definitely be a lot faster see it's automatically a lot faster and of course if you want it to to move more than for the counter you just all you have to do is just change uh, 0 to whatever number you want to um, and then I just want to show you uh, if you do like a crazy number if you do one it will go really really fast so um, <laughs> it, it will be a little bit too fast for a moving platform, but, um, you guys could definitely play around with it. And there's a lot of uses for this. Um, I think it's a pretty basic setup and, um, hopefully you guys found this tutorial helpful. I know it was a little bit quick, but, um, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching and, uh, have a great day. Thank you.